Hello and welcome to episode 30 of series 5 of Master League Story Mode. First off, as you can probably tell, I'm a little bit croaky, I'm a little bit ill. I'm not, not badly ill, not like call it all off ill, but and hopefully not ill enough for it to affect my play because, well, as you can see from the right hand side of the screen, Things are getting a bit serious in this episode. Leeds United have had an incredible start to the season. So let's go and have a look. We've played three, won three, only conceded two goals, scored six, and we're in fourth in the league. Yeah, it's been the perfect start to the season. Derby County were dispatched 2-0. We beat Sheffield United in the league. We've had easy games, haven't we, really? You know, these are mid-table sides all the way through. So, probably expected that we'd have a decent amount of points by now. Probably not expected we would have won them all, but this is where we come undone. Within four days of each other, we invite not just Liverpool, so Divock Origi's old side, but also Premier League champions Manchester City. So, yeah, this is going to be tricky. Well, let's get into it. So before we look at the sides, I do have a little competition idea for you guys. So obviously we've got these great new, well not new, these great old throwback Thistle Hotel shirts. We've got three shirts, home, away, and we've got second away as well. Obviously, we're going to be playing in the home. We'll let City play in the uh, navy blue. But what we really need to go alongside these is a throwback keeper jersey, a throwback keeper kit. And you know what they're like. It should have the Thistle Hotels logo, really, and ideally be an ASIC shirt as well. But I want it as garish as possible. I want Sergio Romero to look like an explosion in a neon factory. And as a prize for it, well, I've offered prizes that I send out in the past, and sometimes I've, I've let people down, or it's taken ages. So let's just say um, you'll forever have my gratitude and you'll get your name in the description of every video ever with a link to whatever you want. And if anyone can think of another prize or something that they'd like, then I'm sure we can talk about it. But, you know, if you're just a creative sort of person and you want to do that and you want to see your kit in action every week on Sergio Romero, then please go ahead. I think it would be an excellent addition to these already great kits, which I absolutely love. So with that out of the way, let's see how we're lining up today. Oh, yeah, of course. How could I forget? the big talking point of the last episode. It's the Mount Brunetta conundrum. So I think that front three can stay as it is, everyone else at the back. We can all agree Callum Patterson's an absolute legend already. Uh, back three doesn't change. The only question is Mason Mount or Juan Brunetta. Mason Mount's had a shocking few games despite us winning. Juan Brunetta's come in, scored goals when needed. Let's compare the two of them stats, shall we? So start off with Mason Mount is two years younger but in terms of development I guess they've still both got a long way to go they've both got potential from dramatic improvements they've both got potential to you know I mean obviously Brunetta is four away from Mason Mount in terms of overall rating but I think as we'll see that is skewed a bit by Mason Mount's uh, set piece taking Brunetta's a classic number 10 Mount is an orchestrator I don't know how much difference that makes but right into the stats so ball control and dribbling and attacking prowess, that's where Mason Mount is quite significantly better. How much difference attacking prowess makes for an attacking midfielder, I'm not so sure. I know for a striker it sort of means they're going to be in the right places, make the right runs at the right times. Don't know how much difference it makes for him, but in theory he should be getting into better positions maybe. I feel like that's what it influences the most. What I was surprised to see actually is that Juan's a better passer. Not by much, it's pretty close. Only two and one separating both, but he is better. And he's a better finisher, we've seen that. Obviously set pieces is where Mason Mount really comes into his own. And considering how easy free kicks are this year, um, if we get free kicks in dangerous positions, he should be finishing them off. But then also by that same token, because they are quite easy, I think Juan would have a pretty good go at most of them as well. So hmm, kicking power is identical. Mason's a bit quicker, he's more explosive, he's got better balance. It's very, very close. I'll say that much. Uh, Mason Mount's better with his weak foot. He's slightly better stamina, better form. Player skills, I mean, Mason's got more. Got long ball expert. Amazing run. I don't know. Look, I mean, part of it maybe is, as an England fan, I want to see an exciting, passing, dynamic attacking midfielder develop, especially a 20-year-old, because we don't really have one. There's one playing on the other side today, Phil Foden, who you would hope... If he gets the minutes, we'll turn into that sort of player, the one that we really need, the one that we're really lacking in the World Cup, the one that I always hoped Jackie Boy Wilshire will be, and he is playing today as well. Look at that cultured trio for City. Anyway, we won't, we won't get into them yet. But anyway, you would say with Brunetta on an upward arrow, that this is the game we play him in. I don't know. What does it do to uh, Team Spirit? It gives us a Team Spirit. Right, well, oh, that's so hard to choose. Right, well, no. I can't. Yeah, all right, we'll go Brunetta today. 
I think a lot of you will be pleased by that. I think the general consensus is that he should start. I feel like it's only me keeping him in the side. But it all points towards bringing him in today uh, in this ridiculously hard game. So as I said, that midfield trio, culture to the extreme. Bernardo Silva, Sane, Gabriel Jesus up front. Guero is either injured or has left the club. Firmino they've got. Uh, De Bruyne and Mara still there. They've signed Cook. They've signed Lichsteiner. That's a poor choice. Uh, Zinchenko, Danilo at the back. Two players we've considered signing for our wing-back positions. They'd both be perfect. They're not really... Well, they're, they probably are playing as sort of wing-backs today. It's going to be a huge test. Claudio Brava in goal. 80 rated still. Not going to be easy to beat. Right. Come on. This is really a test of how far we've come. Let's get into it. So win or lose today. This is why we got promoted. This is what we want. Inviting big teams like Manchester City to Ellen Road. And hopefully... Giving them a good old go. You know, going up against world-class players, the best in their position, like Jack Wilshere. No, no, okay, Dan Silver. Um, it's, that's what we're here for. This is what we're here for. But we're not going to roll over. We're going to play our game in exactly the way we always have done. It's Bielsa up against his disciple. Who's going to come off better? Well, let's hope it's us. Leroy Sane now. Callum Patterson's got the job of looking after him today. It's not going to be an easy one. Zinchenko puts the ball in. Oh, Jesus has somehow got to that. Cuts back inside. No. Oh, fuck's sake. Well, we've been absolutely pulled apart mere minutes into this game. What went wrong here? I mean, that's a great ball over from Zinchenko. Lovely first touch from Jesus. Martinez is throwing the dummy. Pontus Janssen. Well, he has the uh, little Portuguese man sneaking behind him. Didn't know where he was. And Bernardo Silva with an easy finish. Well taken. Off the post. Romero beaten. Fuck. Well, that's how it happens. Corner here for City. Can we weather this storm? Picks under a hell of a lot of pressure. Zinchenko. Brunetta gets a foot in. Can he launch a break now? We're bombing forward. He's got Origi and Son with him. Romero's already up there. Origi going wide. That's not a good ball. It wasn't a great run, to be fair. We lose that one. And now we're in real danger here. Bernardo Silva is through on goal. He's away from Pontus Janssen. Romero off his line. Fuck. No. That is what happens when you commit men forward. Mart I don't know what the fuck Martinez was doing there. Absolutely miles away. Bernardo Silva is no match for Pontus Janssen when it comes to pace. Almost got back at him. Romero came out when he probably didn't need to. We've got a mountain to climb now. So free kick opportunity here. I don't think this is the right sort of range to be having a go. Just try and dink it into the danger area. Edge of the six yard box. It's going to be Juan Brunetta. Sent into a dangerous area. Son turns. It's a good hit. Easy save for Bravo, though. No, they're pulling us apart. Jesus into Sane. Foden. Oh, good tackle there, Pontus. And now Brunetta through the centre. Controversial decision to bring him in today. The Argentinian looking for options. Looks to put it into Maxi Romero. Yes! There we go. The Argentinian connection through the centre. It worked well there. Just delayed the pass. Waiting for the run of the deadliest striker in Europe. I'm going to go out on a limb and call him that. I reckon he's going to get a golden boot this season. Regardless of how well we do. And that's a lovely first touch. Away from, I think, Rudiger there. And a lovely finish. And the Ellen Road fans are off their seats. There's gravy flying everywhere. They can't believe it. We've scored a goal against Manchester City. And we've sort of played our way back into this one. Oh, we've been done. Bernardo Silva now. Oh, it does really well to find David Silva. Oh, for fuck's sake. How slow was Bernardo then in reacting to that? It's just too simple. That's an incredible touch there from David Silva. You'd expect no less. Bernardo just needed a <laughs> turning circle of a yacht there. And as soon as we score... They get back into it. Score one of their own. Just such quality. He's given so much time there. Oh, for God's sake. Well, that was a real eye-opener, wasn't it? That is the standard we're going to have to deal with this season. Bernardo Silva with two goals in 14 minutes to start the game off. And then Max Romero gets us a little glimmer of hope. And then straight away, they're back at us. Such quality. Such incredible vision and passing. They've just got too much for us. Bernardo Silva down that right-hand side is having an absolute jolly against Pontus Janssen. There's nothing we can do. Tempted to put Pizarro back there. I don't know who I put a defensive mid. Maybe Matty. We're struggling anyway. It's not going to work. 
we're going to have to score just more goals. I, I don't see any other way of doing this. Keeping them out just feels impossible at this point. Right, let's do it. Now Pizarro. Out to Son. You've got to get to that. Come on, you've got to get to that. He does really well. Puts the ball in. Brunetta. Whoa. Not a bad effort there on his weaker foot. It will be Juan Brunetta over this corner. Can we get it on the head of one of our big lads? We've got height in there. Romero's there with the header off the line. Son will have a go. Deflected. Back to Brunetta. Away from Zinchenko. Out to Son. Ball in. Looking for Romero. The header is over the bar. Good pressure there from Leeds. Gabriel Jesus. What strength there. From the young Brazilian. And then he's played through. Oh, great touch away from Martinez. Oh, it's off the bar. Off the post even. Jesus Christ. That would have been game over there. Oh, Sane. Chipped a lovely ball into him there. Jesus off the bar this time. That really was off the bar. And just give him even a slither, a glimmer of daylight. I don't even know what the expression is, but we're fucked. If we're just fucked. If we get out of this without an absolute pasting, then it will be a good result. Bernardo's got to be winning these headers over Jesus. Doesn't win that one. And now it's the Janssen bernardo Silva matchup that we don't want to see. Good ball back inside. David Silva. Oh, fuck's sake. Sane at the far post. And the misery keeps on coming here. In front of the away fans as well. I mean, Pontus did a fair job there. It's a great ball in from David Silva. Martinez doesn't react. Romero's miles away. Oh, dear. Right, let's keep the score low. Oh, lovely ball in there. Danilo, ball back to Sartre. Oh, for fuck's sake. We're just not getting close to them. We're just not getting close. Part of me thinks we should go defensive here, but I don't see much point in this at this stage in the game. Maybe for our goal difference come the end of the season. I mean, that took a bit of a deflection. It was lucky. Sane in at the far post. And that makes it five here. Five, one. Wow. Welcome to the Premier League, Leeds United. Pizarro. Wide to Son. Patterson back into him. Early ball is blocked. Oh, Maxi Romero. Oh, what? Well, we get another goal. Maxi Romero. I don't know why you're celebrating because this is embarrassing now. I mean, fair enough. You scored two goals, but that was more by luck than judgment. Son looked to put a ball in. Came off Zinchenko. Sane trying to head it back to Bravo. Romero's aware. Finishes well. But still, it's embarrassing, isn't it, really? So 25 minutes left here, and uh, Mason Mount probably would have thought, I think I'd rather spend the rest of this game on the bench, thanks, Marcelo, but he's going to get a run out. As is old Jackie boy, Son. Away from company. Into Callum Patterson. Pokes it. No, come on. A third would have made this look absolutely fine, like a really good game. Wasn't to be. Oh, great turn, Romero. Now Patterson can steam forward. He's got Harrison ahead of him. Options here for the Scotsman. Into the box. Now it's all opened up. Callum Patterson. Oh, that's a good save from Claudio Bravo. Mount. Out to Jack Harrison. Ex-Manchester City player. Cuts inside. He's got Son to look for. Back to Harrison. Just to pick out Mason Mount. Oh, come on, Mason. It was lovely football. Lovely football. And 3-5 would have been... A fine was... I would be happy with 3-5. It's a great ball. Come on. Just opened up his body. Needed to get that on target. It was our last chance. And that is full time here at Ellen Road. And we've been embarrassed. Yes, we have. But what I would say is Marcelo Bielsa's set out there to play City at their own game. And, and ultimately, any side in the world could get caught out doing that. We got caught out badly. Yes, we did. It was embarrassing. Absolutely, it was. But I think there will be some positives in the change room for Marcelo Biel. So look at that. Look at the amount of chances we created against this Manchester City side. We weren't afraid. We weren't afraid at all. We should have been afraid. <laughs> should have been massively afraid. And as Guardiola and Bielsa inevitably embrace and discuss tactics and over a glass of wine probably after the game. You know, Bielsa will be proud of what his teams have achieved today. We didn't go out there and try and defend. It would have been pointless anyway. But it would have been nice to get a, th a third. And Mason Mount should have really scored that one. Well, well it's fine. We were going to lose anyway, weren't we? And we've lost in style. I mean, sure, it's not going to help our goal difference much as we drop down into sixth. And we now have a goal difference. Oh, well, it's, it's fine. We've still got one. We've still got positive goal difference. We're on the same points as the team we go up against next, which is Liverpool. It's going to be interesting to see how much that battering 
it's had an effect on the psyche of these players. Obviously, Leeds United have had weeks and weeks, months and months of, in some cases, demolishing sides in a very Manchester City-like way. So will it affect our confidence? Well, Maxi Romero is the top goal scorer in the league. The scout's got something for us. Let's take a look at this. Uh, Romagnoli. I mean, obviously, quality. I mean, we could pick up Kessie and Romagnoli would be great. Uh, Milenkovic looks good. 22-year-old. We can't afford any of them at the moment, but he at least is reasonably priced. Actually, to get it. Wow, he's very cheap. Look at that. Get him for a snip. Why does he only want a six-month contract? Get him on 2.5 years with a whacking big clean sheet option. Get him for 500,000. Touch of class he'd be. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get this guy tied down in case somehow we manage to claw back this salary budget. Might be able to get him for 4.4. No, we won't take the risk. We'll go 4.6, 84%. Quality. He would be quality. Is he a bit quicker than Pontus Janssen? Of course he is. Everyone is. Uh, Callum Chambers, Eric, Eric Bailly, Hoot. Who's Hoot? I know him. Southampton centre-back. He can't be that good in real life. Although he is 80 rated here. I mean, Eric Bailly physically is an excellent player. He's too highly rated for us. Anyway, right. Liverpool at home. I think Leeds fans now would be feeling at least mildly confident. We're going to do the same thing again, aren't we? We're going to go out and we're going to try and attack them. We're going to play our game. We, we know nothing else. Uh, Brunetta, well, downward arrow today. He did get the assist. Didn't do a huge amount else. Uh, Mount, mm, came on, missed that big chance. But it's there. There's, there's something there. I just know there is. Tired legs at the back. Not really any changes we can make there. We knew that was going to be an issue. These games have come thick and fast. Other than that, I think we have to keep it as it is. Uh, Salah's still there, Mane's still there. Normally Liverpool have been decimated by this point in the Master League. They've kept most of their good players. Again, we're going to have our work cut out, but who knows if we maybe keep out a few of those what were fairly... I mean, some of them were pretty cheap goals against City, I have to say. On another day, we might have kept them out. So now would be a great day for Divock Origi to shine. Um, it's tricky for wingers in this Bielsa system. To do anything really they are sort of farmed out wide I mean once the play switches over to them they may get a chance on goal but Origi hasn't had an incredible start to his season here but if he's going to pick it up now might as well be the time to do it dangerous free kick opportunity here Jordan Henderson to whip this one in C Pats is there and Mason Mount can header away it's good work Romero into Mount pops up for the ball into Son Oh, he's released Maxi Romero and he's ahead of Joe Gomez here. Maxi Romero. Oh, yes. And we catch him out. We catch him on the break. Just good work here from Mason Mount. Just spots uh, Son Heung Min and that's a great first time ball. Another assist there for the South Korean. And another goal for Maxi Romero. He's got new boots. A lot of you requested we get rid of his horrible pink ones. I thought it might be bad luck to get rid of them, but I decided to go with a pair of lovely red Predators. And he's put him to good use here. Maybe it's the little rubber bits on top that allowed him just that extra bit of curl in off the uh, in off the post. And yeah, perfect start. Got to keep going at him though. It's the only way we know how. And I don't think sitting back is going to work for us. Maybe at two we will. Oh, Bernardo, great tackle. No. Oh, Kovos, great work. Just about finds a Rigi there. Pizarro, Romero, Kovos. Into Divock Origi. Can push it into Maxi Romero. It's a great ball. Oh. Patterson under pressure. Does well. Find a little bit of space there. Now Kobos can push it wide to Origi. Up against his old teammate Nathaniel Klein. Steps infield. Looking for Patterson. Oh, Keita gets a good foot in. And now Mane is through. Martinez is floundering here. But Mane just didn't have the legs. Does find Sturridge though. Bernardo can't get to him. Keita with the effort. Great save. And good clearance from Janssen. Oh, but Origi's caught in position. In possession. Salah. Oh, Romero with a great save there. Romero called into action twice in quick succession. Got that one. And then Origi needs to be quicker there. Great tackle by Henderson on his old teammate. And then Mo Salah. A rocket of an effort. Well saved by Romero. This is turning into a good game, this. Mason Mount now. Can he pick someone out with this one? 
The outswinging ball is a dangerous one here. Patterson with the header straight into the gloves of Mignolet. Really putting them under pressure, but you've just got to feel they've got a goal in them. And this could be it here as they've got men over. Luckily, they're not able to use them that time. Sturridge back to Henderson. Got to watch Mo Salah. Surely going to get to this ahead of Pontus Janssen. Cuts back. Salah now. Oh, Bernardo. Huge tackle. It needed to be. Oh, great header on from Romero. Finds Origi. Ball inside to Maxi Romero. Can he make it an, an unlikely two-goal lead into the break? And it's Origi. And Romero linking up. That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. And the little bump there between the new teammates. And uh, no problems for Origi celebrating there. I guess he didn't score himself, so that's allowed. We've hit him on the break. Romero, that header there, ahead of Joel Matip, absolutely colossal from Maxi Romero. Who, as we've said, on countless occasions, is taking to this league like a duck to water. So there we are, half time, and it's a goal right at the beginning and right at the end of that half for Maxi Romero. Wow. I mean, Bielsa does have some questions now. Do we try to keep attacking? Do we keep the Gagan press on? Do we keep attacking, trying to get more goals? It looks like there's goals to be had. We've got the possession. If we try and sit back, we're going to get pulled apart. They've had shots. They've had chances with only 41% possession. This is going to be a real test of Bielsa's managerial brilliance now. Can we see this one out? And now they'll have it back here. This is where they're dangerous on the break. Sturridge has pushed through. Bernardo will be with him. Janssen's there as well. Bernardo. Oh, no. No way. Oh, my God. Get it away. Origi, what are you doing? No. Fuck. Oh, my God. Mo Salah now. Sturridge. Janssen's caught with it. No. Pontus. Got to be quicker than that. Got to be quicker than that when Mo Salah is sniffing around. Oh, they've just come at us so hard in this first, second half. And then Janssen just needed to put his th foot through that, but he didn't. And we caught out. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Bizarro into Origi. Cuts back inside. Divock Origi. Oh, so close. A wicked deflection there. Origi inside to Kobos. Lovely ball. Kobos now can slip it in. Maxi Romero with Granqvist. Turns away. Maxi Romero. A lot of touches. <laughs> there it is. Oh, I'm actually properly losing my voice. And Maxi Romero gets his first. Premier League hat-trick and what a game to do it in. What an incredible game to do it in. And it really looked like Liverpool were coming back into this. Marcelo Bielsa though said no. We're not going to stick at 2-1. That is the most dangerous scoreline. And look at that turn from Maxi Romero away from Granqvist. Just couldn't stick with him. And the young Argentinian got to be the hottest striking prospect in the world at the moment. There's no way. There's just no way. He's doing it against the top teams now. He scored against City in the last game. Didn't mean much. But a hat-trick today against Liverpool at Ellen Road means a hell of a lot. Brewster into Lallana. Now Mo Salah. Oh, he's found Brewster very well there. Oh, shit. Well, we just went defensive and that's not worked. We've been picked apart there. And there's still plenty of time for Liverpool to get back into this. Brewster lays it off. Lallana into Salah. That's a beautiful ball. Bernardo stepped out. Romero could do nothing about that one. Jesus Christ. Can we keep the ball for the next 13 minutes? Probably not. In fact, I'm going to go attacking again because I just don't think we're as good if we're not. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Brewster is through. Finds the Ox. Oxlade Chamberlain. Square ball. Oh, God damn it. No. We've been done in such a simple fashion there as well. Ball out to Oxlade Chamberlain. Pizarro out of gas. Brewster in ahead of Bernardo. I thought we could hold on. Well, we've got to go for the win here. We're going attacking. Oh, Lalana has played through. Bernardo's with him. Oh, my God. Brewster will get to it. Um, Kobos, no, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. No, no, not having it. Not having it. Not having it. Get it away. Fuck off. Right, this is ridiculous. So triple sub here with not long left. Brunetta, Granker, and Matty come on. 
This is ridiculous. I feel like I'm in a cup final here. Got to hang on to this. Three minutes left. Looks for everything. Like Liverpool are going to get the winner here. Very hard to imagine anything else. Guanca the substitute. Inside to Brunetta. Oh, so close to slipping that into Romero. And he would have been through. But now the danger comes again. Most oh, you fucking... Oh, my God. The little feint there. That is absolutely sublime. And we've been abs we've just been picked apart. <laughs> oh, what a ball that is. Oh, and he just lets it run across Romero. Brunetta lays it off into Romero. Gets it back. It's a free kick there, ref. Ref. It's too far out. It's too far out. Matip gets the yellow card. It's just going to be too far out, I think, for Brunetta to have a real go at this. It's not that far out. Wow, this would be impressive. Juan Brunetta. Just on the pitch. He's got to get it up and over the wall. It's not up and over the wall. It's into the gloves of Mignolet. That's so gutting. How? To come. I mean, the City game was disappointing. But after a Maxi Romero hat-trick to then concede three goals in the final. What was that? 12 minutes. Fuck me. That is a low. That's a real low. I mean, we were great. We could have put them three or four goals up. I mean, okay. Liverpool came back into it. They're great. They're a good side. Got to say they're a good side. Oh, Mason Mount with the 4.5. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Everyone played badly except for Maxi Romero. Oh, God. Origi and Son as well. Oh, my God. We just couldn't defend at the end. It was pointless. We tried to defend. When we went defensive, we got, we got caught. They were, they were going to win. That's, that's gutting. Well, we dropped down to eighth. We've got to stay in that top nine. That is the goal for this season. They're not going to come much more difficult than those two games in a row, especially with so few games between them. Well, Maxi Romero scored seven goals in four games. He's doing fine. He's doing just fine. Mason Mount is not. He's not doing well. I'm too, I'm too gutted to even look at this. Look at Patterson doing well. Bernardo strong in the air. Don't care. Don't care. I'm gutted. We've shipped 10 goals in two games. 10 goals in two games. Wow. Can we bounce back against Burnley? It's got some serious bouncing to do. Those Leeds fans at Ellen Road have had quite an experience over the last week. And we go up against another rival in Burnley. Got a lot of catching up to do with our just mental health, I think, at the moment. Maxi Romero, golden boot. It's on. And that's about as good as we can end this episode on. See you in a bit.